I want to uh, move us into our embodied practice, our healing justice practice for this evening. If y'all have been watching these sessions, each week we have closed with some form of practice rooted in healing justice. And um, for those who have not been with us, I will just share how uh, we are using the, the definition of healing justice that is created by the Kindred Southern Healing Justice Collective, um, of which actually Alexis was on the founding council. And that definition is that healing justice is a political strategy that seeks to intervene and respond to collective trauma, burnout, and violence in our movements. We see healing justice um, as developing mechanisms to transform the traumas that are uncovered as movements evaluate the context in which they're operating. And so we want to be uh, mindful of what it is that we are holding uh, in our bodies, in this work, as we fight, as we uh, resist, as we dream, as we envision. Um, and we want to be mindful and always cognizant of the ways that us as individuals, and, mo and especially us as a collective, um, the ways in which we are holding trauma, the ways in which they inform the visions that we have and the work that we do. And so um, we are going to, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to be in flow and in spirit with what Alexis brought, um, and I'm going to invite y'all into a meditation with me. And so wherever you are, if you've been sitting the whole time and you want to get up or you want to wiggle, you want to move, you want to um, change positions, I'm going to invite you to do that now. Maybe shake yourself out a little bit if you want to do that. Um, feel free to do that. And then I want to invite you to land in a spot that feels restful um, and invite some rest and stillness to your body. Give yourself a moment to land there, to allow your body to uh, arrive. And when you get there, I want to invite you into a couple deep breaths with me. And so we're gonna breathe in through our noses and then release it through your mouth with a sigh. And again, breathe in deep through your nose. Hold it for a moment and release through your mouth with a sigh. And as your breath returns to its normal rhythm, I invite you to say to yourself, I am arriving. I am arriving. And allow your body to arrive in the present moment. I invite you to allow your legs, your thighs, your feet, to everything below your waist to release and to give itself a little bit more to gravity. Allow your butt, your thighs to sink into your seat, your legs, your feet, to sink into the floor or the cushion or whatever you're resting on. Allow yourself to get heavy from the waist down. And I invite you also to close your eyes if you feel like that is comfortable for you or to lower and soften your gaze, to allow your hands to rest, palms facing up on your laps. And then from the waist up, allow more space between each of your vertebrae. 
and lengthen up through your spine, up through your necks, all the way up to the top of your head. Bringing the crown of your head up and slightly back so that your chin is parallel to the floor. Release the muscles of your forehead, straightening out that space between your eyebrows and softening the muscles behind your eyes. Also release the muscles of your face, creating some space between your teeth and relaxing your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Allow your lips to close softly and your breath to go in through your nose and out again through your nose. Let that breath soften the muscles of your throat, creating space there. Allow it to soften across your chest, opening up your heart space. And also allow your breath to soften your belly. Notice the rise of your belly as you breathe in and the softening of your belly as you exhale. Gently, no force, no pressure. It's your natural flow of your breath. And as you bring your attention to the feeling of the air going in through your nose and then out again on an exhale. I want you to bring to mind a horizon. See if you can visualize the sun coming up over that horizon. Take note of what you see. What does it look like? What are you standing on? What is the feeling beneath your feet? What is around you? As you envision that horizon, I invite you to begin to walk forward toward the horizon. And as you walk, imagine that you are leaving behind all that same old stuff. You are leaving behind the same old misogyny. You are leaving behind the same old racism. You are leaving behind the same old hatred and violence. Imagine yourself shedding armor. Imagine yourself shedding fear. Imagine yourself shedding weight. Imagine yourself shedding loneliness. Imagine yourself shedding depression as you move closer and closer to that horizon and farther and farther away from that same old stuff. And as you walk, see if you can feel yourself expanding. See if you can feel into 
your own too muchness. Allow yourself to get bigger, to get wider, to get taller, to take up more and more space. Continue to walk and to grow, to walk and expand, to walk and take up space. What changes in you as you expand? Notice how your breath changes. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your heart beats as you shed the things that hold you and bind you and allow yourself to feel into your too muchness. As you get closer and closer to the horizon. As you arrive on this horizon, in this landscape past noon, what do you see? Once you have left behind that same old stuff, once you have expanded and grown and taken up all of your space, with the knowledge that even as you take up space, there is always enough space for everyone else. What are you arriving to find somewhere in the landscape past noon? Fill the space with your vision. What do you see? Who has arrived in this landscape with you? What do you hear? What does this horizon taste like? What does it smell like? What is the feel, the feeling on your skin in this new place? What is this feminist future that you have arrived at? Take a moment to be in that space, in this new landscape. Now allow your breath to begin to deepen and allow yourself to return to this present moment, to sink back into your body. And we'll take one collective breath in through our noses and release it again through your mouth with a sigh. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feel into the edges of your body. 
And when you're ready, you can blink your eyes back open. Return your gaze to the screen. I thank you again for joining me in this practice. This week, I want you to reflect on the question, what does our feminist future look like? Oh, I have the wrong question, sorry. What kind of ancestor <laughs> will you be? Either of these questions, what kind of ancestor will you be or what does our feminist future look like? I want to thank you all again for joining us for week seven, the seventh session in our eight weeks. Good night, everyone. <laughs>